Alright, this is saving me a lot of time. Um, now, once we've talked about the distributed property, now we're going to put the two together. And later on, you're going to realize why they do this. And again, in algebra, they're going to expect this. Okay. So let's look at number one. Right. Now, you got to do distributed property first anytime you see it. So we're going to do 7 times 2x. Seven times six, so seven times two. It's like seven groups of two, so it's fourteen x. And you got to do seven times six. Most people forget that. Okay, from this point, you don't need me. We all know it would be 22x plus 42. Okay, these are extremely easy, so I'm not going to make you do any practice problems with it. I'm going to change it to red for this next one. Okay, now, if it's just a regular x, there's a 1 in front of it. So 3 times 1 is 3x. And you got to do 3 times 6, which is positive 18. Plus 4x. Okay, those are kind of easy. Now, the ones that get harder, the ones they set up like 3. Okay, distributed property came first in these two. But then this one's going to come in second. And it's always, always make people underline it. It's a positive 7. So you got to do 7 times. So I like to just go ahead and bring 6 in now. Eventually, I'm going to use it. A 7 times a 7 is a positive 49. And then you got to do 7 times 9. 45, 54, 63. Put your variables together. Okay, those are what we call easy ones. I'm going to jump over to the hard ones, or ones that can trip some people up. Positives are a joke. I'm not going to make you do those two. Oops. Spice it up a little, little negative action. Okay, let's look at the example. We'll do this one together. All right, we got to do, we got a three, positive three turn. Now I told you to start thinking of this turn negative five. Now we don't circle negative nine x because it's outside the parentheses. If it's inside, we'd have to, but you can see the parentheses closes after the five. So really, you got to do six times three. I do six times negative five, which is a negative thirty. Negative nine x or minus nine x. Okay, so now we got an eighteen x term and a negative nine term. Combining always means add. So eighteen plus negative nine is nine x. And you just bring down the negative, the minus or negative thirty. Sometimes on the outside of the parentheses you have a negative too. So we're going to do negative 2 times 4, negative 8x, negative 2 times positive 2, so negative 4 plus 8. So now we combine our numbers, negative 4 plus 8, positive 4. Bring down the negative 8x. Right. This will be the last one. Now, this is where a lot of people fall off the wagon. When you look at this, 
you got a negative 3 term on the outside. Negative 3. So, negative 3 times 2, negative 6x. Negative 3 times negative 4 turns into a positive 12. Bring down your 2x. Now 2x plus negative 6x, negative 4x plus 12. So that is how you combine like terms using the distributive property. We're not going to do any of these. Okay, that concludes the video. Now I've got a practice worksheet where you just want to practice this. Later on we'll use it to solve equations, but right now this is where we're going to stop for today.